Hi everybody, this is another issue of Gabe's Green Solar Corner. Today we're going to be talking about the Target Center, which is one of the NBA stadiums in Minnesota. It is currently having a green roof installed on the top of the entire building. It's going to be, when completed, one of the five largest green roofs in, in, in the United States, and it's going to be one of the ten largest green roofs in the world. The, the uh, project is going to be insured by Factor Mutual, which has uh, created a lot of different issues with the project. Um, the fire breaks on top of the target center uh, is a big deal so that from the green roof side to green roof side, the fire can't jump if it were to become uh, dried out and start on fire. So the, the uh, old fire breaks on the target center resembled the target symbols and circular patterns. The new green roof on the target center, which they're installing right now, is going to have... Uh, it's going to look like a leaf when the fire breaks uh, are added into it. It's going to be, it looks like a big leaf structure basically from above, if you look at the city from above. Now, the new structure on the Target Center, uh, you know, it's a big, big project. Before, uh, it, from 1988, it had a big rubber roof with no, uh, with no uh, power system for dealing with lightning. The roof they're putting on now, uh, they're putting in an electro field vector mapping system because under this entire roof there's 21,000 uh, feet of seams on the roof. And with that 21,000 feet of seams, you want to be able to detect a leak if there's any leak on the roof. Now if anybody, if you know anything about green roofs, basically you've got the actual roofing deck. On top of that you've got some kind of insulator, a roofing membrane, in this case the electro field vector, vector mapping system underneath that to detect leaks. On top of that You've got root barriers, um, some kind of material to create a uh, base for the material that's going to grow your sedums. Uh, usually what's growing your sedums isn't actually dirt, it's a chemically created product that uh, reacts a little bit better with the environment and is super light. Um, in the case of the Target Center, uh, they could only deal with a maximum load of 17 pounds per square foot. So you think about that, even when it's wet, it can't hold a whole lot of weight. Um, even though it's going to got to be able to suck in a whole lot of moisture when it does rain to create the, uh, the, 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 the less runoff. Um, some other cool things about the Target Center, when they were doing the project, since the old roof is from 1988, they found 165 pounds of bird poo from, animal, from uh, birds flying around the area, which was actually hazmat, so they had to clean that up and hire a hazmat crew to, to clean it up. Um, the, on the roof, there's 101, 785,000 square feet of irrigation, so over 101,000 square feet of irrigation. This project is being done by Tech to America. Uh, they're a large corporation that's done a lot of green roofs, and then Minnesota Native Landscapes is helping with a lot of the sedums. We're trying to pull in, they're trying to pull in a lot of uh, natural uh, plants from around the Minnesota area. Uh, any other information? Um, the, the the current R value of the roof on the target center is a R16.67. The new R value will probably be a R38, which is going to dramatically increase the load bearing um, on the roof from, from snow mass in the winter that's not going to melt. Uh, when you create a green roof, you create less heat that's going to rise through it, so the snow mass is going to be greater. So they have to put that into the calculations. Just a really, really cool project, uh, target center in... Uh, in Minneapolis, Minnesota, one of the five largest green roofs when completed in the U.S., one of the ten largest in the world. Um, it should be visible from the top of the grave, 601 Hotel, again being insured by Factor Mutual. Um, kind of a cool project. They're pulling in a lot of people from around Minnesota, um, dealing with the Summit Academy, the Will Steger Foundation, um, Minneapolis Public Works, um, CSO. And the Minnesota is the uh, model for water management is one of for the world. Really, really great water management uh, in the Twin Cities. If you haven't studied it, um, it's been called a model for the world. The way that we deal with uh, retain water problems in our systems to maintain a good quality in all of the lakes. We are Minneapolis and Twin Cities, a city of lakes. So check it out uh, when it's completed. Should be this summer fall. Uh, the Target Center downtown Minneapolis. The NBA place to play, uh, Timberwolf Stadium. Check it out. Uh, new largest green roof in Minnesota and one of the fifth largest in the U.S., 10th in the world.